This is a Volvo wagon, which is one of the cooler types of Volvos that you can own. This is... <laughs> this is Evan's car, so he's gonna tell you about it. Evan? We're recording? Yeah, we're recording. Oh, okay. So this is my 93 Volvo wagon. Got it for $300 at an auction. It's not terrible, but it's not in great shape. Um, it runs and drives all right. I drove it for... Should I start over? No. The camera no. I drove it for a few months. My other cars were down, but now I got plenty of daily drivers and want to do something fun with this. So it's got some, some rough spots, some not great areas, but it was $300. It's got about 100 and... Uh, 150,000 miles, not too bad. That's it? That's it, yeah. Why does it run so terribly then? I don't know, I don't think it was maintained very well. And then we got it, so. So it's nice, it's gold. Gold? Is that the official Volvo color, gold? These seats are actually Beige. pretty decent. Yeah, they're not too bad. The driver's side kind of sags a bit. Dash is nice. So this is, this is the part that is important. This is the part that's important, the front half in the uh, front seat dash area. We're gonna keep that area. The rest of it, we don't care too much about. The back hatch here, the latch is kind of weak, kind of rattles around, you know. It's annoying on the highway. Yeah. We'll get rid of that. So what we're gonna do, something I've always wanted to do on a Volvo, is make a pickup. It's easy with the wagons, just, you know, cut it about here. Need the back hatch up, weld everything up, weld some reinforcements in, weld the door shut. They do this a lot in Sweden, they're called A-tractors. Um, if you're below a certain age, you can't get a driver's license, you can drive farm equipment on the road. So if you got a pickup that doesn't exceed a certain, you know, speed range, you can drive down the road. So they hack the Volvos into pickups and theoretically don't drive too fast, but haven't seen too many of these around. There's one in town that a uh, Volvo repair shop has. They did have a 240 that I've seen a couple times. There's a few out there, but there's not really many build threads that aren't in Swedish. So we want to make a video of this, show what we did, show some of the work, and hopefully have a kind of fun pickup when we're done. So I'm nice. gonna start tearing out the back stuff, uh, back seat and all the trim and everything. And we'll get it marked up and ready to hack the roof off. So to get the rear seat back out of a wagon, it's held in by these two pins that it pivots on. You gotta take the hog ring off so you can separate the seam at the bottom. You got a hole here. You can stick a screwdriver or something in there and pry the pin out. And it just lifts right out of the bracket. Easier said than done. Yeah, it's not fun. Now we got lots of ventilation. Yay!
So this is the giant pile of everything that we took out of the wagon. Some of it was just trash in there and some of it was interior stuff that we took out, but it's a pretty significant pile. Pretty nice pile we got here. Yeah. So we have to clean up a little bit so we can put this thing in the garage. So we've got this thing mostly stripped down. We've got all the interior out of it. Well, not all the interior. The back part. We've got the back part of the interior out, the headliner. All the windows. All the windows. The hatch. No. It's pretty obvious what we've done so far. Yeah, we just stripped it out. So that was pretty fun. Next step, we gotta mark out the cuts and make sure we cut it straight. At least we're not gonna have to do anything really hard. I mean, there's gonna be a lot of welding. So we just got cutting and welding to do. Finishing. And we got to think. It's going to require some thinking. Yeah. Next week, we're going to chop it up. Boom. Yeah. Okay. yeah. When are we? When else are we going to do it? Yeah, next weekend.